Thanks, brothers and sisters and comrades, for turning up today. I'm gutted to be here. I'm, I'm fucking so proud of everyone that's turned up, but I'm gutted to be here. To be in a country called Australia, where we're denying Australians procedural fairness, natural justice. That doesn't sound like a democracy to me. That sounds like a fucking dictatorship, and I say shame. So I'm a little bit emotional, and I don't apologise for that. Because we've had people with over 60 plus collective years fighting their asses off for working people in this country. And that's how the ALP and the ACTU treat Rita Malia, Darren Greenfield, Robbie Kerr, and I say shame. Yeah. This country has a right to procedural fairness. Every worker in this country has a right to natural justice. But with the flick of a pen in Canberra and the flick of a pen in here and the support of Sally McManus and Michelle O'Neill from the ACTU leadership, they denied your leaders that right. And when you talk about administration, when you talk about administration of a union, some people may know this, some people might not, but there's a section in the Fair Work Act, section 323, and if the general manager of the Fair Work Commission can go off and prove to a federal court that a union is dysfunctional, then the federal court can appoint administrators. But instead of doing that, what the federal government has decided to do is, we don't care about the rule of law, we don't care about the fact there's a passage of legislation if it's required, because if the CFMU, as respondents to a section 323 application, choose to defend that application, what did Tony Burke say? He was gonna legislate it anyway. Shame! Yeah. 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 Yeah.